I want to introduce to everyone this morning, the gentleman that's going to come with his presentation as he's running for the state senate here in the Sacramento area. He's a young man that I have the utmost love and respect for. He came from, as Willie Brown once told me, good stock. If you knew his father, Dr. the late Dr. Robert Porter and Mrs. Porter, his mom, they were godly people. Dr. Porter was a great gospel preacher who preached in that very pulpit several times, was a good friend to my dad. I can still remember things he taught me. But one of the things he did in life that was great, he taught his son well. Amen? Amen. His son had went on to be, he started out as a choir director, then he went to the gospel pulpit, then he went and got his education and did not stop with a bachelor's. He has a doctor, so we address him as Dr. Takoy Porter, amen? He went on, he's been friends with the likes of T.D. Jakes. He has preached in the continent of Africa. He did something extraordinary that I don't know any other, nobody else that ever did this. He was able to co-pastor a church with his brother for many years, the Genesis Baptist Church here in Sacramento, California, amen? Amen, he was extraordinarily kind to my daughter, he and his wife, when she was in her formative years. Um, Dr. Porter went on, he is an author, he's written a book, and you know what? He could have rested on his laurels. He built a church, the Dr. Robert Porter Center in the Meadowview area, but to go on with that, he also has a school that bears his name here in the Sacramento area. That right alone, we're gonna give us my hand for that, amen? <laughs> but he didn't stop there. He went parochidos a provocatum. That means he is ready now for the challenge, ready for a new challenge in his life. He could have rested in his laurels, but to, to, to take up where people like Dr. Martin Luther King took up, where Barack Obama has taken up. He is going to enter into politics, and as, a, as a, a man of God, that's a difficult thing because he stands not only to help the people, but he does it on a more high moral ground at the same time. Yeah. So at this time, we're going to introduce the son, present to others, Dr. Takoy Porter, in his own way. Dr. Take the, take the power. Amen. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. And if I come to the house of the Lord, I'd like to say, I was glad and he said unto me, Amen. let us go into the house of the Lord. And if you're glad to be here on this morning, for a second, you can pray. Well, um, for a minute there, I had to wonder, uh, ask myself, who was Pastor Wade talking about? <laughs> Amen. And I'm so gracious for for him, my friend, his brother. We have we go back a long ways, and um, uh, today I honor him and your father. Amen. Who uh, who uh, before the meeting we first started preaching it was one of the first places we preached at here at this church right here. His uh, father was so gracious to open up his pulpit to us at the time, and our families and have been friends ever since. Can you just give your pastor a hand? Amen. Third generation pastor. 
Amen. And so this is something that's kind of in our bones. Amen. No matter what you try to do, you know, try to run away from, from it. Because I tried to run away from it, let me tell you. But then it just called me to it, and it ended up being a family business. And I'm glad about it. I know we stand up on the shoulders of, of my father and my mother, but also of giants like Pastor um, Ephraim Williams. You know, who's such a giant within this, this community and this state. Um, you're a member of um, Pastor St. John, Pastor Heights. Yes, Amen. Yes. So, such a wonderful man. I think I just name, keep on naming the names that have just come before us, that, that generation that's just built upon the foundation in which we stand. And that's the reason why I'm here, is because we should be building. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. We should be building. Yeah. We should be building. I would, I would like to teach my children, you know, that you know that you don't rest on your laurels, but you build. Yeah. You build upon us. Do better. And I remember growing up, my father would take me to his office and he'd show me all his degrees and stuff. And he said, he, he looked at me and my brother and said, Do better. Amen. Do better. And really, really, for, for, for 22 and a half years of pastoring the Genesis Church, me and those with my brother in the border, moved to now Minnesota, I have been striving to do just that, to do better, to, to make sure that the poor name and legacy is well, the reputation is good, amen, and the work continues, and the work continues. And this is what this is all about, continuing a good work. Amen. A good work, a good work for our family, for our communities, all right? A good work for our people. And, and, and that's what we're trying to do in this 22 and a half years or so of pastoring and leading in the community with the school that we just have and just um, um, constructed on our campus. I would love you to come through if you have not seen that. It's such a beautiful sight. Um, our, through our partnership with Market Fortune and the Fortune School there, doing great work. But, um, but in March 2018, uh, Medi the world came to Medivine because of death of Stephon Clark. Yeah. Stephon Clark. Now, my church is just a stone's throw away from his grandmother's house in which it happened. I could literally see from my office into her backyard. And uh, so when that occurred, you know, you know, I said the world came to Manby. We had the governor come several times to our place. Uh, personalities like Reverend Al Sharpton, he came to our church. And he asked me to partner with him in regards to um, that situation. And so we set up a local chapter of the National Action Network, a civil rights organization, uh, very similar to that of the NAACP. And from that experience, I was able to go to the Capitol, our state's capital and national DC, our nation's capital and advocate for us on police rights and criminal justice reform. Amen. And we were successful in getting some things done. We overturned and amended a 100-year-old law on um, um, how police uh, treat us during a, a traffic stop and such, you know, the overuse of force that they are known to do here. And what you did in the, in the issue of Stephon Clark, we were able to overturn that and say, you just can't come into our communities and just kill up our people. Well, no, I'm not against police. I don't think you need them. That's the first people I'm calling them. I get in trouble. I just want to make sure they get the right people. That's right. That's right. When I call them. Amen. 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 And so we were able to do that and, and advocate for those things. And here's what I found out. I found out that when you go into those, those rooms, there are people just like, just you and I, they're normal people. There's nothing very special about them. You know, they just step up. You know, they, they, yeah, they got a few schools and stuff like they go into. But then, for the most part, normal people. You know, people can do this job. It's yeah. accessible. But there's not enough of us in the room. There's not enough of us for the problem. South Sacramento, North Highlands, that's not so high. Can you keep on clapping on that? That, know, that knows what the stuff, knows what's going on, you know, at the ground level. That, that understands what it means to have more month than money. 
you know, that understands what it means to work, to have folks work a job and still, you know, try to you know, find it hard to make ends meet. You know, that, that wants the best for their children in, in the schools that, that don't like to, 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 to serve them well just because of the color of their skin. There's not, so they're not us in there that has those concerns. And so when I found out that Senator Pan was turning out in June 22, he can't run anymore, 2022, he can't run any, anymore. I say, you know what, there's an opportunity. And I always believe that when God places something before you, it's for you. There's an opportunity to get into the capital so that we can have representation for our community. So, that, so I got too much of my daddy in me, too much of my mama in me, and so on and so on to just sit here. If I can do something, I'm going to try to do it. And I, that's why I'm running for office and running for state senate in 2022. Amen. So pass away, pass away. I, 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 I can't do it by myself. That's why I'm going to the base right now, to churches. Because I see churches got Joe Biden elected. The black church, let me just go ahead and say that. The black church got Joe Biden elected. The black church got uh, Kamala Harris elected. The black church, right, uh, got, got uh, the stop this recall. Amen, with Governor Newsom. And guess what, the black church can get what? The court court elected to the Senate. So, uh, so I have a few handouts here, just one handout. I want to make sure you get to everybody. You take a couple. I want you to go ahead and, and and look at this handout, one side tells, tells you a little bit about who I am, who's supporting me, and then this side just says, I'm with the Rev. Then we got this nice QR code where you can learn how to contribute, volunteer, and endorse, because it takes all of that yes, to yes. win yes. a race. Yes. And how many know that we can win? We can win. Now, so I'm, I'm making sure that I go, I'm missing my service, and all that, and and, um, and I'm doing that because the Lord afforded us. The, uh, my wife is, is preaching and teaching and doing all that. We're great, great for it. And um, but I said I need to get to the churches because I know that if anybody can make this happen, it's you all. Amen. Because we have power, we have prayer power, Amen. right? We got faith power. Amen. 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 I know how you, that you can get the word out, right? So I want to get the word out that the grandma is running. I'm the only pastor that's running. So when you, when you see my name, remember the rabbit's running and say, I'm with the rev. I'm with the rev. And I'm not just here just to listen to but I came to give something away. Pastor, do you mind if I uh, present you with something? I think, I'm, I'm not sure if this is your size, but um, here it is. But maybe you can uh, sleep in it or something. I don't know. Very long this morning. In fact, 
I got a pro my prop this morning. Let me get my other Bible. Oh, here it is. And here's your Bible that you left last week. Amen. Well, man. I heard a preacher say something very interesting this morning. And he was saying, a lot of people say, well, I got my thing, uh, uh, my word on my phone. And he was encouraging his church. There was a thousand people at his church. He was saying he was encouraging them to bring the word of God, the hard copy, the Bible. And it's important. 